Hey guys, today is the day that we introduce the long awaited for kitchen sink. The kitchen sink is our offering to the AIWB sidecar community. It's got all the crap that you want right on the front side of your body in a comfortable format so that you can sit in your recliner or your car or your whatever and not have pokey things digging into you. Isn't that cool? So we've got a Walther PPQ M2 4 inch decent sized gun and it's uh, it's gonna have an optic on it <clears throat> and then a spare magazine for your sidecar rig and we're calling it the kitchen sink because there's not much else that we could put on this thing so um, it's tuckable We've got clips on the on the exterior uh, edges of the rig. It's got a wing on it to tuck that pistol grip in there nice and tight and get it to where it doesn't print, even if you're a skinny guy like me. The magazine position is adjustable. You can move the magazine holder up or down to your liking. Uh, if you, if you want to make that corner there print a little less, if your belly pokes out and you've... Uh, there it is right there. That's where that corner is. You can tuck it down into your pants another inch if you'd like and get a little more concealment there. It's tuckable. The rig is tuckable. So, loosen my belt up here. You can tuck your shirt in. So, for you guys that go to church, actually one of the guys who's been t and this this pretty much exact rig for us for, oh, Mike's been doing it for the better part of, a year and a half now um, I'm not gonna bother tucking the back of my shirt in but <clears throat> he uh, he's a church goer and um, he tucks his shirt in with his AIWB sidecar rig that we're calling the kitchen sink because why well, call it a sidecar that's what everybody else calls it um, there it is tucked so I've got all that stuff tucked in the front side of my pants and I'm ready to go to church, and I got my cute little belt buckle out so people can see it. And all you can see are the, the clips. And if you wanted to, you could put the clips behind your belt. But I like having the clips over the belt, personally, because then that gives my belt a little bit more ability to distribute the load. But being that we're near, you know, your front belt loops, you'd probably be okay putting them behind your belt if you didn't want anybody seeing them. But to be honest, they're, they're not super visible uh, anyways if you wear a black belt, and especially if you wear black pants. So, and then to draw, simply rip your shirt out of your pants, draw your gun. To change mags, get a purchase on the mag, pull it out. So, there it is. To take it off at the end of the day, because this rig you can literally wear all day. You don't have to take it off when you sit down in the recliner. You don't have to take it off when you want to bend over and pick something up. And you don't have to bend super weird. You can simply bend straight forward if you want. And you're not worried about anything poking you. Whereas, you know, a lot of guys have to do kind of the, the <laughs> split thing so that the, the muzzle doesn't poke them too hard in the hip bone so that they can pick something up off of the floor. You don't have to do that with this. You can just kneel down and pick it up because the leather that you're about to see flexes with your legs and stuff so you don't get those sharp edges poking you. So there it is. So that is what touches your body, this nice uniform piece of leather. And you can see, just like in our hybrid holsters, our, our, our other ones that go elsewhere on your hips, this leather folds down so when you bend your leg up like over here you notice we left we leave an excessive amount over here so when you bend your leg up that all flexes see that get that flex action from the side there boom right there so that flexes up and prevents all of this stuff from poking you so there it is guys the kitchen sink you can order yours today at ProTechCustomGear.com. Stay safe, guys. We'll see you next time.